With the revolution, the royal railings, a symbol of absolutism, were destroyed. The king left Versailles for good. The collections of paintings were taken to the Louvre and the furniture was auctioned off and dispersed. But in the end, the palace was preserved. During the First Empire, Napoleon renovated the Grand Trianon for residence during the summer months. Sometime later, Louis XVIII restored the symmetry of the palace by erecting the Pavillon du Four. Louis Philippe transformed the former royal residence into an historical museum. The former prince's apartments were replaced by a large gallery of paintings, the Galerie des Batailles. The fledgling French Republic took possession of Versailles and renovated the Salle du Congrès to accommodate the National Assembly and the Senate. Versailles today is the result of this long history. A former royal palace with prestigious collections, an historical museum, a republican palace. It's also a living place which hosts festivals and shows, dazzling as it did under Louis XIV, visitors from all over the world. <laughs>